guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, so today we're going to go ahead and go for a title from the second Peppy Gals EZA. Um, this one dropped a little while ago. Um, so this, I think, is going to be one of the very, very easy titles to get. This EZA feels very weak to me. Um, now, the fight, the opponent we're going to be fighting here um, is the Int Ribrian. So, we're going to be wanting to use a lot of physical-type Peppy Gal characters. But the thing is... Oh, whoops, that's the wrong button. Oh, dude, the extra load time, like loading that's on JP right now. Oh, the worst ever. Um, but Peppy Gals is not really going to have a problem at all. We have some very powerful physical-type uh, Peppy Gals that we could bring. I could even add, like, Super Saiyan Kefla to the team and stuff like that. Videl is still, like, way too strong for this type of difficult content. So, we're just able to really turn this into dust pretty fast. Um, I imagine you, you might be able to get to, like, stage 500 plus or something like that, I think, very easily, right? Um, and then, of course, the new Fasha. Fasha absolutely just disintegrates this, right? Like, if we get, like, a really good rotation where Fasha will, can take a couple of hits right at the start, like, she's going to get a massive power buff. And then we can just, again, just destroy this fast. Um, I should mention, right, like I do every single time, that as of right now, unfortunately, there is no real incentive to doing this, right? It's not like we're, you know, getting anything out of these titles. Right now, the titles are just something to collect rather than something that's actually having some, you know, big effect, right? Um, I think that there's very easy ways around this, right? Um, I think uh, titles could increase your Dokkan account power level. To me, that's the easiest one they could do, right? Um, you know, while Dokkan account power level, there's definitely some holes and flaws in how it's calculated. I do think they put too much emphasis on link leveling. It's still a fun little system, right, to, you know, sort of compare against your friends and stuff like that. Like, it's a good system. And I think getting these titles should give you extra power level. I, I see no reason why it shouldn't or couldn't actually do that rather than nothing, now, the spicier option that I do really like is what Legends does. So, in Legends, you're able to... Oh, that, that did... Actually, Launch is taking a lot of damage right there. Okay. But in Legends, there's numerous ways where you can earn titles, right? Um, including, like, beating story events and, you know, placing high in PvP, blah, blah, blah. All different types of different ways, right? Well, over here... Um, right, like So, like, the titles don't do anything in Dokkan. But, like, all those different titles you can collect in Legends from various different ways, those actually can buff your character stats, which is, is crazy to think about because Legends is a PvP game, right, where you're actually competing with other players, right, like, in, like, actual, like, like a, you know, a, a, a fighting game setting, like, a head-to-head -head setting, right? Whereas for Dokkan, this is more so just, like, PvE, right? Like, you're not really competing against other players for the most part. You're just trying to, you know, beat the event that the devs created type thing. So, considering that Legends um, is able to have you get your character stats buffed by um, titles, I see no reason why Dokkan could not do that. See, like, this, this is potentially a pretty solid rotation right here, right? Where um, we'll be able to have Fasha right at the start. Although, it would be better if, if there was, like, more attacks aimed right at the start. Because, remember, Fasha gets attack and defense every time she gets uh, hit, right? She gets attack and defense from being hit and attack and defense for activating guard, right? So, like, any attacks on her are going to give her a huge buff. She actually took a little damage there. I guess maybe I was underestimating this a little bit. Like, I wasn't really paying too close attention. I was just autoing it, you know, working my way up to these high levels. Ribrianne is actually doing a bit of damage to us. This is interesting. So, I, I, I wonder... Perhaps, you know, you're not going to get multiple hundreds of levels deep um, into this event then if, if you're actually able to take, um, you know, these types of uh, damage shots. Oh, there's our girl Kefla. Kefla's still really good for this type of thing too, right? With her ability to potentially triple super, she stacks, she rainbow orb changes, she can dodge. Very, very helpful. Um, and then again, Videl. Videl can still be very strong in this type of event because remember, Videl's got her dodging. Um, and then she, of course, you know, has got the guaranteed additional super as well. So, Videl can still be pretty good. Videl, of course, sort of, like, power crept, um, 
from like the actual like hardest content in the game right so like the cell max event or red zone stuff like that right like videl's not going in there and destroying but you know dodge can still be useful against cell max right like characters that have dodge in them like that's a, a sort of ability that will allow them to age i think a bit better a bit more gracefully um than characters who don't have that or guard or damage reduction you, you guys know the whole deal right um but going back to the, the the title thing the way you could easily boost stats i think um here in dokkan with titles so it's like we're right like so for these easy a's right there's three titles we can get we can get a title at stage 30 right that's just for completing the easy you get a bronze title you get a silver title at stage 50 and then you get the gold title at stage 77 so I think something like okay, so um, Wooly Fasha in slot one right here actually, because uh, this will allow her to get uh, the big buff um, at the start. I do have to give these physical orbs to Videl though, unfortunately. Um, but I I think the way to do it would be so let let's say the bronze title could potentially give all Peppy Gal category allies. It doesn't have to be a monster buff, just something like all Peppy Gal characters would get like. 15 attack or something like that or 50 attack i don't know seems like a small number but considering the amount of titles that are in in the game the amount of easy A's that are in the game right like stats would continually be buffed by this system so it's like what you're doing is you're slowly you know building up your account by going out of your way to get these titles right and it's like remember there's future easy A's that are coming so you know we're leading into the worldwide download celebration where cooler is the main focus so, you know, I think it's a safe assumption, you could say, that perhaps STR Cooler is going to be getting um, an easy during the celebration, right? And it's like, you know, then he would be giving buffs maybe to, like, movie boss characters, right? So, like, movie boss characters get, like, 50 uh, attack from, like, his um, bronze title. Maybe, like, transformation boost characters get, like, 50 defense from his silver title. Um, and then maybe, like, you know, Wicked Bloodline gets, like you know, 100 HP from the gold title, stuff like that. And it's like, again, while it is sort of like small increments of buffs, as, you know, you get all the titles, as you're, you know, doing all the content from all these celebrations, you're just strengthening your entire box up quite a bit. And I do think it could actually be a good system for free-to-play players as well, because it could be a thing where it's like, okay, the celebration happens, right? Maybe it's one of these, like, sort of, like, middle, like, middling celebrations, like, the, the start of June celebration for Global is always very weak, something like that, right? Where it's like, you know, Dokkan Fest Raditz you know, is really not up to par with other recent Dokkan Fest, so you're gonna skip his banner. There's not really, like, new difficult content to do or anything like that, right? The celebration overall is just, for the most part, kind of a dud, right? So, it, it could be very easy and, I think, like, feel at least rewarding for players if it's like, okay, like, you know, you could knock out a couple of titles during the celebration, and then even if you're not pulling a new character, or, you know, there's not, like, a new difficult event to do, you can feel like you're strengthening your box at the same time. So I, I do really like that idea, right? And, again, it would give more purpose to us. Right now, um, doing these EZAs, getting to stage 77, the biggest real reward you get is Zenny. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, uh, Zenny problems will completely disappear into nothing, um, if you grind stage 28-2 for link levels. Um, in my experience, that's the fastest stage to link level. And then, the amount of rank EXP you get, the amount of Zenny you get, all of the other rewards are just so insane. You're just getting so many rewards of all these different types. The amount of Zenny you get, because it's like... The stage goes down so fast. You're getting, I think it's 145,000 zenny per run. I'm just able to accumulate millions of zenny per day doing 28-2 as a link level stage. It's just crazy. And if you're a free-to-play player, if you're not rank 900 plus, you're going to be ranking up so fast that it's like you're not going to have to stop. So it just makes it the premier sort of like destination for link leveling. Um, I think they did a really good job. Uh, with these new stages, you know, sort of creating some good stages for people. Yeah, Fasha eating that pretty well, right? As Fasha takes hits and builds up, Fasha really becomes quite disgusting. She becomes a real beast of a unit for sure, right? So, all right, there we go. 
um, we're going to be able to go ahead and get to our stage 77 title right here. Um, we'll, of course, go ahead and take a look at it in a second as well. But let me know what you guys would like for titles. I mean, I, considering, too, that in a couple of different celebrations now, they've, like, advertised new titles, uh, like, in the celebration info. Like, oh, come get these new titles, right, for, like, um, the collection of epic battles, right, had some and stuff like that. So, considering that's a thing, I feel like they could do more with the titles. And I would not be surprised if they would at some point, too. I think, it, to me, it is something that uh, is at least fairly realistic. So, there we go. Uh, we got up to stage 78 right here, which means we got our hands on that nifty little title. Again, I'm not really gaining anything by this, because I have so many Zenny statues while having Max Zenny as, as well at the same time. So, we'll go over here. Um, and then, bam, we have it all done. So there is the Peppy Gals Easy A completed. Um, there we go. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.